Welcome to today's environmental auditing agenda. With respect to all audience, I'm very pleased to introduce you our topic, environmental auditing. Literally, auditing means calculating, examining, and quantifying the magnitude of certain factors. No wondering that you may come up with burdensome works. However, these works are more interesting than it sounds. We can use it as an environmental management tool for measuring the effects of certain activities on the environment. On top of that, environmental auditing is also of a valuable instrument to verify and improve environmental performance. With the presence of environmental auditing, we can do a lot of work, such as checking the compliance, predicting adverse impact, and monitoring programs. For example, what we see about a building is growing up from the horizon to a multi-story object, while what we do not see is how many adverse impacts have been put in place and how we can carry out a plan to mitigate that. As massive responsibility and benefit are often involved in the auditing work, likewise, it is required to adopt an independent auditing to ensure proper implementation, as same as ordinary auditing principle does. So, since when we began doing environmental fever by making use of environmental auditing, it's necessary to refer to the journey of evolution of environmental auditing. Environmental auditing first came up on the show in the US in early 1970s, when a handful of industrial companies developed environmental auditing program as internal tools to help review and evaluate the status of the company's operating units. It enabled managers to check compliance with local environmental laws and regulations, national laws and regulations, and corporate policies. Since 1979, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency EPA, issued a draft report calling for independent certified third-party auditor to perform such work. Environmental auditing became an official requirement and received considerable attention since then. In the late 1980s, Environmental auditing was widely accepted by the industry as a general management tool in developed countries, and it was increasingly adopted by developing countries and foreign industries abroad. By the end of 1980s, governments in many countries expanded their environmental activities through their commitment to the International Environmental Agreement IEA, and the improvement of environmental departments, institutions, laws, and regulations. In the end of 20th century, seeking the mode of sustainable development was integrated into the continuous improvement on technology and trade. Overall, increasing number of communities believe that global environmental programs require a national cooperation. Entire time access of environmental auditing history is available. In 1990, issues regarding sustainable development went rampant. In 1991, raised awareness of sustainable development and more effective monitoring. 1992, Agenda 21 as a product of the Earth Summit in Rio de Janeiro. ISO 14000 series for environmental management systems and ISO 14001 certification is widely used around the world in 1996. In 2000, the International Organization for Social Responsibility developed the SA 8000 standard. Above all the content, what does actually environmental auditing contribute to the auditing work? Before the announcement of ISO 19011, our auditors met on plenty of issues. Low efficiency occurred all the time because duplication and repetition of effort when conducting combined environmental 
or quality audit. Invalid auditing report could stem from inconsistent format containing irrelevant information. Auditing confusion resulted from the weak goals of environment and quality audit program, and the uncertainty facing both audit team and client always brought instability on the audit report. Have all the information sparked your bit of interest in environmental auditing so far? If do so, we would like to invite you to follow our coming episodes, which consist of general information, audit program and activities, competence, and evaluation of auditors of ISO 19011. Thank you very much.